Barnacut, you can see he's going to drive all the way to the line. Nick Gregg stumbles on the icy ground here. He's weaving around. Rabbi struggling to stay with the pace. That right knee quite heavily strapped. I wonder if that's been compromising his training. Mills goes through there. Another of the uh, British squad. And uh, clearly Sam Mills struggling to go anywhere near this front quartet. So they go into the hill for the second time. I'm interested about Joel uh, Ibla Ilesa. He was six in the World Juniors, 3,000 meters back in the summer. This summer just gone. But for 5,000, he's run 13.29 and he's 19 years old. That is a mighty impressive time for 12 and a half laps of the track. He's in uh, second place here in the long white sleeves, Lilesa. But the Danes with a fabulous uh, pairing here with the Irishman Griggs and the Brit Barnicut there. The third oh, Dane, by Rabbi the way, doesn't make it up Ooh. that hill. That, that looked like. You can see some of the other competitors just noticing Rabbi's on the ground. That I don't. You mentioned his knee, Tim. That did almost seem like something went. Then it wasn't. It wasn't a slip. It was more of a collapse. That's big there. That's a silver medalist from last year, Abdullahi Dahir Rabbi of Norway. I, that didn't look like he was going to get back on his feet. It didn't look like a stumble. It really looked like he collapsed there. These men will have no idea. The front quartet will have no idea that one of the pre-race favourites could be out of the race already. Griggs and Barnicut, Ireland and Great Britain, and into the hill for the final time. Barnicut, ninth last year, having a fabulous run here, coached by Tim Eglin. What a great pairing they have turned out to be. Huge credit to coaches, of course, who prepare their athletes well for this uh, midwinter cross country. Of course, the European cross country season beginning now to adopt more and more the American collegiate model, where athletes want to peak around December, January, and then go into the indoor season. The World Cross Country Championships beckons in Bathurst in late February. Whether or not many European athletes will choose to make that long trip to Australia remains to be seen. But for these two, Hannah, this is turning into a wonderful day at the races. And I wonder who is going to push first, lose their patience and try and break the other. Or will one of them just be happy to tuck in? Lila so just really struggling on that upslope there, the Dane. I think that bronze medal battle is going to be just as fierce as the gold medal battle. And Will Barnicut, for me, did not look as comfortable on these downhills as Nick Griggs did. Here goes Nick Griggs of Ireland. He's making his bid for gold. It's about getting, making sure you're coming through those gates, those doors out of the castle first I think uh, we were looking at the course yesterday apparently around about 470 meters when they exit this castle to the finish it's technical it's tricky Nick Griggs at the moment getting himself ahead through these twists and turns and Dean Casey looks like he separated himself from that bronze medal battle could Dean Casey leapfrog all the way back to Will Barnicut because his, his cadence and his speed has not carried him off the top of the hill particularly well so Griggs then back out into the sunlight and he has the gap. He's got daylight between himself and Will Barnicut of Great Britain. That is a winning gap. He's gliding down the hill there so wonderfully. He dedicated his European junior title in 2021 to his older brother Josh, who had been tragically killed in a road accident one month earlier. Well, I'm sure his brother is in his mind now for this mid-Ulster athlete. Coached by Mark Kirk, an 800 meter international himself back in the 80s. And uh, Nick Griggs surely now has got a winning gun margin. Just coming off this hill, probably around 200 metres to go. Nick Griggs looks over his shoulder, but he's a 3.42 man. He is a fast 1,500 metre runner. Nick Griggs surely is going to have another gear left in this 100 metres. Will Barnaker is going to kick. He's going to give it absolutely everything. But could we see a sensational gold and bronze to Ireland? What a day that would be for the Irish team. What a start. Nick Griggs is kicking hard. Will Barnaker, you can see he's going to drive all the way to the line, but surely he's running out of ground. Nick Griggs Greg stumbles on the icy ground here. He's weaving around. Will Barnaker in the last closing meter snatches the gold medal from Nick Griggs. Dean Casey, a brilliant bronze medal for Ireland, punches the air. Nick Griggs, hands in his head, sitting there to the side of the finish country. Sam Mills comes through in fourth. Luke Birdseye in fifth. That's the gold medal for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But Will Barnicut held his nerve. He never, ever gave up. You have to run all the way to the line. Tim, we walked down that finishing straight around about an hour ago and said, that's tricky. That's ankle turning territory. It's frozen, rutted ground and heartbreak there for Ireland and Nick Griggs. 
I don't know if that was a combination of a slip and the legs giving way or a twisted ankle or what there from uh, Nick Griggs. I thought he was a nailed on winner with a couple of hundred to go, but all credit to Will Barnica. Finished like an absolute bullet over the last 70 metres. He pulled away at me on the hill. I sort of, I was dying, I was sort of struggling a bit. And then on the downhill, I could see he was starting to struggle. So I've always had quite a strong finish. So I started to kick in. And he, he, he sort of blew up on the last like 20 metres or so. And I just sprinted and just, I mean, it, just, it was unbelievable. I mean, I, it still hasn't sunk in yet. I'm still, I'm very chuffed. Ah, it was brutal. I'm suffering as a tail. So sorry about that, but yeah, it was a brutal, brutal hilly course. And yeah, paid the price for it down the last 50. I had the race one going into the home straight and then I fumbled it, so I'm a bit disappointed, but if you told me yesterday I would have got a silver, I would have been buzzing, so yeah, mixed emotions really. It's more about my self-belief, just go kicking through that other gear, trying to, trying to push myself to that level which a lot of people are afraid to go to, and so I just, I just dug really deep, um, just thinking about all the training. I mean, this is my chance, that's what I've been thinking about since the summer, so yeah, I've harvested the fruit, so I'm just going to reap the rewards, so I'm very happy with that.